Ghosts by Raina Telgemeier is an adventure in experiencing change, helping loved ones, and cultural traditions. When Kat moves to a cool coastal town to help with her sister's cystic fibrosis, she is sad to leave her friends and favorite hamburger spot to meet her new neighbor who won't stop talking about the town's ghosts, especially on Dia de los Muertos. As a graphic novel, Ghosts is an accessible book for young and teen readers. It presents a fun way for readers to explore Mexican culture in Dia de los Muertos and learn about cystic fibrosis in a normalized environment. In my middle school drama class, I would love to use Ghosts as a springboard to have my students explore their own cultural heritage. Students will interview family members about their ancestors and discover interesting stories to bring back to the classroom. Then, in class, students will collaborate with one another to create new stories and scenes. Their scenes can center around the meeting of ghosts of their ancestors. Perhaps they could meet them at Dia de los Muertos, like Carlos does in the book, or by a time machine, or any other fun idea. This will be a great way to have students connect to their own identity and culture. For a high school film class, ghosts would be a really beneficial tool to use for educating students on the elements of a story. A graphic novel is great to make use of because it has those visual elements like film does. We can use this to talk about plot, characters, settings, and themes. And some of the major themes that ghost covers is change, health, childhood, bravery, culture and traditions, and family. For my drama classroom, I would focus on the recurring theme of breathing. The main character, Maya, has cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is a disease that directly affects a person's ability to breathe. I would take my students through a series of breathing drama exercises, teaching them that breathing involves our whole bodies. I would also teach them that how we breathe can affect how we give lines of dialogue, helping to communicate what a character is feeling, such as being nervous, angry, excited, or happy about something. Project ideas in a dance classroom might include dancing onomatopoeia, learning cultural dances like the Mexican hat dance, or learning about breath rhythm by playing a game like freeze dance where you can only dance with the help of someone else's breath, like the way Maya helps the ghosts with her breath. I also love the idea of using this springboard novel to formulate a school-wide arts night with the theme of Dia de los Muertos. It could include Mexican dances and poetry highlighting ancestors, tamales and other Mexican cultural dishes and food trucks, all decorated with papel picado and giant Mexican paper flowers. This book would be great for any grade level or arts classroom because of its graphic novel writing style and many relatable themes.